Hi, this is Lady Esther, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, welcome back. This is part two of the blob. So I have my lamp here. I just wanted to show you. I have my hat, and then I have my wig that I had in a previous episode. And I got this hat from TJ Maxx. So I'm just going to show you some other things, just... Just to pass the time because I'm um, here for your entertainment, hopefully. So here's a necklace that my uncle made me for, um, let's see, I'm 48. He gave it to me for my 48th birthday, but he was meaning to give it to me for my 47th birthday because he put silver atomic number 47. I guess the atomic number. I guess on the periodic, is it the periodic table of elements? Number 47 is silver. So that was very special. Um, and it looks like I need to shine it up. And then here is a little, uh, this is the first diamond I've ever bought myself. I don't know if it's like a quarter carat. Um, I bought this to commemorate my 20th anniversary last year in 2019 so this year it's um friday the 22nd we'll be celebrating 21 years and here is i got this last year also this is a kate spade this is just costume jewelry um kate spade necklace and it has this fake diamond and like a spade, Kate spade symbol. I really like it, but you know, I really don't wear jewelry that often. Um, I have to think about it, and I forget to put on earrings in my videos. I'm gonna have to start doing that. So here we are going on um, the second dresser, and I will go over these items here, and then. It's, in the drawers and this is was just a dresser set that I got 2013 or 2014 I think 2013 you know it's I mean it looks nice but the quality of furniture these days is just not what it used to be it looks nice but anyway so here in this first little there's again this is a Chanel box I have some items that I um, will be using or use. Um, the Caudalie, this is just water. It's like, um, you know, hydrating spray. Basically, it's just grape water. So this is nice, but I don't think that I'm going to be repurchasing that. Um, I'm gonna, I wanted to feature this in another video dedicated to Guerlain. This is a skin resurfacing peel which i took a chance i bought this on my birthday well it was the beginnings of the trouble that we're having now um but i took a chance i had no idea i just took a chance and i bought it and because usually i'm really hesitant to buy like peels or whatnot because nowadays most most of the stuff is just really way too strong for my skin my skin doesn't like things. Here is the the L'Occitane. So this is a milk veil as opposed to the other one that I showed you was thicker. Actually, I like the other one better. Um, I guess this works good for, for hands, but mostly, again, I use lotion for my, I use it Mostly I use the lotion on my feet, not on my hands, but I'll show you what, what else I got later on. So this was the kit I was telling you, I got the extra, let me show you. When I showed you the, the Caudalie in my drawer, the backup, um, this is my main one that's almost over, it's almost out, which um, I'm not gonna be using that i mean i like it's pretty it smells good and everything but it has alcohol in it i believe and my skin is just not liking it so anyway the other one came in a kit with um wait a minute i take it back not with this this was separate it came in a kit with the um 
SOS hydration. So it came with this and this. So this is the full size of the SOS thirst quenching serum. So you use, um, you would you, you do your wash and you would use the serum first. And I believe on the back of this, but this you have to buy this extra, this overnight recovery oil says you use this before the moisturizer. Let me see. Six drops in the evening, either alone or before your moisturizer. So you would use this and then use the moisturizer. So this is a new line. I guess it's the SOS, the SOS thirst quenching, uh, quenching line or yeah. Anyway. So I'm liking these products from Conley. I like Conley. So let's put these guys back here. And it's very, I like the packaging. It's very pretty. So in here, I, I just got this one on sale. Um, the reason why I wanted to do this video right now was because I, to me, it was the fastest video I could do right now. I wanted to upload more videos and I just have not had time to make other types of videos because some videos are easier to make and um so I would do a video on this this is future skin from Ka Shantikai and again I put my date on here May 20 2020 future skin oil free gel foundation so like right now I really only have let's see I have only three actual foundations. The other, all the other ones I have are like um, tinted moisturizers. So provided I have time, I'm gonna do a video. I've tried this once and as long as I'm hydrated, I was really liking the results. The alabaster might be a tad bit light for my skin, but it, it works because it shears out. So, so let's go through the top. We'll go through the top on this. And so I have, okay, we'll start up here. So I have the, the clay to Poe. Let me just grab the item. So here's the clay to Poe set. And I did a video on this before. So this is what you would do. Um, so these are three, there is tons of steps. I have a chart. Oh my gosh, there's so many different steps if you wanted to. But you'd be spending a fortune if you got all the steps. But the three steps basically is using this serum first, which I thought was weird because to me, this seems like an essence. And I thought usually you use essence first and then serum. So this is kind of weird in that you use the serum first and then you use this and then you use the... Um, emulsion there's two different types i think there's a thicker type and then there's one this is more like a serum but this has spf 22. so this is this is what you use during the day and if you do it at night then all you do is replace the um spf with this um, intensive fortifying emulsion for the nighttime and again there's a thicker version of this but again the reason why I got, I like pumps. I would rather have pumps. So that's the reason why I got these products. And I, like I said, I got a backup of this um, because I got it on sale. I probably won't buy this again. I wanted to try it out. It's just not cost effective. <laughs> It sounds silly. I like luxury beauty, but I do have my liniments. That's not cost effective for me to keep on purchasing that. And we'll go over these other products here. So that was the clay de po. And then you would use the eye cream, which I had that little jar, which was, it was so nice. So because I don't have that, I'm using, I'm just using this, um, Estee Lauder, um, eye cream because I got this as a gift with purchase. So I use this one during the night, but we'll get to these other products later. And then the other video I wanted to make was 
a girl on. So here is a three step. Yeah, three steps. Do I have or more? Okay, three steps. Here's the. They're calling this a lotion. They're not saying it's an essence. Honey nectar lotion for being smoothing. So you would wash, then you would use this, and then you would use your youth watery oil. So you have to kind of get not someone said not to shake it up so you kind of have to be gentle go like that and use that and then this but again i bought this because it's in a pump but i don't know if this is a traditional moisturizer it said it was a moisturizer but it has a mica so it has a glow which i mean it says be glow so I think it's me. I think it might mainly be to wear during the day, um, like under makeup. That's what I'm thinking. But again, I didn't say this about these other products like the Clay de Po. It took me a while to get used to the scent. It's very, it's perfumed. It's very strong. Again, in these, um, the strongest one is this one in the perfume. They all smell the same. Smell nice and sweet highly perfumed and then dermatologists or the estheticians don't recommend you having fragrance in your products and if you're going to get all these high-end products they have tremendous tremendous amounts of fragrance in them so talk to your skincare professional do your due diligence before you purchase products um, these fancy pants the fancy pants brand name <laughs> that have a lot of fragrance in them so let me put this back here so this is girl on and then let me put this guy back here this one goes back here but let's go back to the other product that i was gonna this one this i i like the fragrance this this is not as bad i mean in terms of strong i mean it, I don't know if it's a different fragrance, but it's not as bad and you wash it away. So, but the other products stay on your skin, which could be a problem in the future, if not now. So there's that. And then let me, I have to take some of these items out here so I can show you. Um, oh, here's a statistic. I just had this here. 10% of happiness comes from outside sources. So most of your happiness will not come from from um, stuff or, you know, mainly stuff, yeah. So let's go with the back row. This was the first perfume that I bought a number of years ago. I apparently, I'm having a perfume collection now. I got this one at, I guess I took the sticker off. This was from TJ Maxx. I think I bought it in 2017. It's very nice. This is Mistral Litchi Rose. It's a very nice, light, sweet rose. You know, there's the rose, but the lychee, I think it's the lychee. Lychee or lychee? That's nice and sweet. Here is the first one I got of Joe Malone. I never heard of Joe Malone before. I did a video on this one. Velvet Rose and Oud. And what we learned about oud was it's parasitic mold. Parasitic mold? I think it was mold. That's what makes it smell so nice. <laughs> so class, that's what we've learned about oud. So let me put that one back. So if you're interested, you can go watch the video. I'll see if I can link at this point where I'm Pointing to this, I, I'll see if I can link the video that I did on the perfumes. Oops. So here's another Zuvia. This is the one I was telling you I had the backup for. See, the, the, the container's different. They revamped the packaging. But the, let's see, why did I want this? Because of this PHA, not necessarily the bionic acids, unless a PHA is a bionic acid, which I'm not sure. But anyway, a PHA is a lot more gentle than an AHA and a BHA. So PHA is what I like. 
instead of necessarily AHA or BHA. So I have, oh, this was one of the first moisturizers I bought, I think, I don't know if it was last year, but the what I like about this is that it comes out in a measured, pre-measured amount. You just push, I can't show you, but you there's this thing, you just push it down once you take the cap off and it gives you right in the center a pre-measured amount of the product, which I like. So this was pretty nice. Um, but again, I'm just, you know, I think a lot of the stuff I won't be repurchasing. I'm just trying different things because it's fun. And I think we went over this one right here. Yeah, that's the quality. So let me put these other guys back. So here's, I really like this one. The Wonder Beauty um, Mist Essence Toner. And so I'm learning about what your skin needs and it needs the ABCs vitamin A, vitamin B, and vitamin C. So I guess niacinamide is vitamin B. I can't read it. Okay, so it, there it says niacinamide. It says ni niacinamide. So you can read that, all that information. But so, so I did good. This is, this is a good uh, base to have your niacinamide but I, I have some essences here. We'll talk about essences in a bit, but I get distracted. So here's just, this is the very expensive toner, Sublimage La Lotion Supreme. Very expensive toner. I, I would, I'm gonna use it up to the very last drop. I won't buy that again. Trying everything once, almost every, Almost. We, we clarified that in the previous video. I will try almost. That means I won't try everything once. I will not try everything once. So, Semolage Le Fluid. We talked about that before too. It's a little bit mattified. I don't think it's good for dry skin. So, let's go. So, this little girl, this is my little girl a number of years ago. This is what it looks like when you don't want to be a princess. She didn't want to be a princess. She's so cute. So that's the Bethany. So here we we'll go. So we talked about the Curlon. So let's talk about the Calling Moth Child. So I bought two of the toners because I saw Hot and Flashy talking about them. But you need to do your due diligence, which I didn't, and I just bought them because, oh, Hot and Flashy said they were good, so I'm going to buy them. Don't do that. If I think something's good, please don't, don't just run out and buy it. Please don't. Please research your skin type. So the one I got, the green one, was it with green tea? I don't know if it had alcohol. That was not for my skin type. That was more for oily. This is a, more like a lotion, a soothing toner. This is a thicker toner, and it's like, I think you can see. See how it sticks? It's sticking to the sides of the jar before it drips down. So it's thicker. It's more soothing, so more hydrating. Let's see if you can read what's... So you can, you can read that. So there's that. And I first tried the brand when Hot and Flashy was talking about this kit with a mask and a comb and a serum. And I was really happy with the hair products um, from Colleen Mouth Trial. I like that. So we talked about this one. And then this is a new um, serum. I had a sample of it. I liked it so much because this was the first essence. essence. Well, it's, it's not saying that it's an essence, but basically I think it's an essence. It's thicker. And that's what I liked about it. This was the first one that wasn't like water because it's easier to keep in your hand and apply it to your skin. So this is Sowasu. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And it's a division of Amara Pacific US Incorporated. And it's made in Korea. So, and this is, this is a little bit pricey. I don't remember how much this was. But I believe this is a little pricey for 5.07 blue ounce or 150 milliliters. So I want I will maybe do a video 
See, I cleaned this for you guys. <laughs> but there's fuss there. So I'll do a video on essences. I got, I'm going to try some more essences. Because I watched Elle Leary and she's, she did a video with, where she just used essences. So I got a few of ones that was recommended from her and someone else. I can't remember. Oh, Penn Smith, Penny Smith, Penn Smith Skincare. Um, so let's go over these. I'll just show you. So there's the Hydra Beauty Lotion. I really like that one. I'm going to try to go a little bit faster. Here's the Hydra Beauty Camille Water Cream. I used this again, and so I, I mean, it was good. My skin is just really weird, so I think I'm changing my mind on it. Not that it's not good. I liked it because it has some radiance, but I just, it's changing. My skin's changing. I need more hydration. So here's my eye drops, and they're falling. And so here's the blue serum. Blue eye drops. Let me take that one. This one I don't like because um, I can't replace the cap on this one. So I'm going to go put this one over. Actually, I'll just put them over there. So that's better. So there's the blue serum. Here's the, this is the Glow Getter Mist. And you, have, you shake this and this hydrates, nourishes. So I don't know if I'll be buying this one again. I really like the other one. Yeah, this one also has niacinamide. So we're... So you can use it, you know, over or under your makeup. But I think I like the other one better. This, I like this. Biosense Squalene Peptide Eye Gel. I think I got this because L. Leary recommended this one. And I like this. So you like some things that are recommended. You don't like other things that are recommended. This, I'm not going to buy these again. The Lift Be Fash, I just wanted to try it. Nope. I'm not going to waste my time with primer. Things that are primarily like intended, they say they will lift and firm. I'm not going to waste my time with those types of products. Um, usually, hydrate, like if say something says it hydrates in general, that's usually true. So here's the CC cream, which I like. Oh, here's the fifth product from Guerlain. I like this one. It smells so good. It's, um, I guess you could use it in, everywhere. Extra nourishing, dry, and weakened skin. It smells so sweet, kind of like honey. Um, again, this was another... No, I got a sample of it. That's why. Sometimes I buy things sight and seeing are untested but this one i got a sample so i got it so i use this for special special not special occasions but maybe when my skin needs you know to be calm and helped this was just a sample um i'm not gonna buy this this line the radiance line it's just a sample this I don't like it because it has fragrance in it. It's nice cream, has fragrance. This, I like this. You can't see what it is. It's Moisture Surge Eye, is it serum? Gel. This is nice, but eventually it um, dissipates. I would have to wear something on top of, on top of that. This, again, this too, this is more for, like, I don't know, for, it has peptides, I don't know, aging, dark spots, but no, it doesn't, doesn't, I like the way it smells and feels, but no, I'm not seeing, like, spot reduction. And then this was the first um, youth watery oil that I got, that was a sample. This, this was my dog's barking. The hydration is great. The perfume smell, I almost bought it, but I just couldn't get over the um, the fragrance. If they could just make this without the fragrance, it would be almost, almost perfect. So that was a no. This is a yes. I think this 
but I haven't compared the cost from this good molecule squalane versus, um, let's see, Biosense has um, their own squalane. So I haven't compared, you know, because this could, I mean, this is really inexpensive, but this could turn out to be more expensive than the other one. I just have to do some math here. So, but this is, if you would just want to buy this to try it, it's very inexpensive. So I like this. Um, I'm not really familiar with what squalene is, but I believe this is from a plant source. Um, it really soaks in to your skin as opposed to other oils. And who knew there's differences from different types of oil to oil. And so I like that one. I haven't tried this one. Um, this particular one, but I used to get this a couple years ago when I was going to see the dermatologist. This is in clinical. So I haven't really tried this, but, and I don't, I can't really tell you what's in it because I, I mean, I bought it, but I wasn't really paying attention to ingredients, but I don't think I really a lot of people like this, but I don't think I really noticed the difference. I stopped using it. Anyway, so here is the eye cream I was talking about. I use this at night. It's heavier. But this is what I rediscovered. I forgot. I used to use Clinique all the time. And this is the All About Eyes. This is, there's one that's thicker, and then this is just the regular one. This is really good for me. Um, it probably has a little dimethicone in it, but it's really good during the day to wear under makeup. So this is what I'm going to be using um, because it's it's more affordable. Here's the Chantecai rose water. Won't be buying that. There's the Caudalie. See, look at here is the LeBlanc and. You see, I'm not holding it up right, but you see, I haven't used that much. Well, for this, you you don't you just use a few drops as compared to when you spray something out. When you spray it out, it, it sprays out more. So this, I bought this. See, I started right. Bought this last year. So this on its own is good. It has moisturization, moisturizing. Here's the serum. Not gonna buy this again. Just trying to use it up. I might keep the container, you know, once I use it up just to keep it in my vanity. So we just got some perfume samples. I got this recently. I like this one, Sun Kissed Hibiscus. It was a sample. And I think I used my points to buy this at Sephora. I like that one. And then I got, see, I haven't really used this either. This is Jasmine Oil from Chanel. Um, it's just oil. I don't know. Here's Blackberry and Bay. I like this one. What did I get this this year? I can't remember. I got this. Was it a special occasion? I don't know why we went to Nordstrom's and I bought this. Goodbye, Nordstrom's. I guess Nordstrom's is closing in our area. Very sad. They just couldn't make it. So these are just samples from Drunk Elephant. There's vitamin C and then this is glycog. See, I'm kind of, I haven't used this yet. I'm kind of scared because. I'm afraid it's going to be too strong, but I'm going to try it just to try it, but I probably won't buy that. Um, so we got my one single Tom Ford lip gloss, the um, interesting, um, let me see, I, there's no way I can open this with one hand. Let me try. Good grief. Okay, I did. So... I just thought this was interesting. You saw this in the other video. The flecks of gold and it, and it turns 
uh, must be pH reactive. But I thought that was interesting. So there's that. And then I have my, my twins, my matching clay to Poe, Sawasu, Sawasu clay to Poe, the lip glorifier, and that's the I don't I'm not liking the one with the color as much. I like the plain lip glorifier. This is um is that Dreamstone? What is this one? This one is Warm Crystal. This is really pretty. And then there's um, the YSL, the Shantikai, and then this one that I didn't like, the Sugar Rose. I'm gonna use that one up. It has SPF, which is good. The Lip Comfort Oil from Clarence, that's nice. Bobby Brown, what is this? Extra. Sorry. Extra lip tint, bare melon. Oh, here's a new one I haven't shown. I don't think I've shown this one. See, I just haven't, I don't have time to to film everything I want to film. So this new one for this Shiseido. And it's, I think it's just considered a sheer lipstick. I can't read this. Lip, I can't read it. But bamboo, 111 bamboo. This is a nice neutral. Let's see if I can open it with one hand. It's a nice sheer neutral um, lipstick. Wow, I did that with one hand. <laughs> my, my face is itchy. Okay, let's put this back. So then I just have, you know, one Chanel nail polish with the top coat. The, um, I think, was this for the spring? I can't keep track. I think, I think this was the spring collection for Chanel, which they come out with their cl collections way ahead of the season. And so what I learned about these is I like, I prefer the lighter shades because with the darker shade, if you make a mistake, if it dries up, then you're, you know, the lighter shades are more for forgiving, basically. When I tried to do this one, I was making a big mess. So there's another samples. Oh, this is my first Charlotte Tilbury. Let's see if I can open it one hand. So this was a, I think I bought this with my points. I can't remember. So I don't know what this is. This pillow talk to, I can't read it. Anyway, I mean, the formula seemed nice, but I just, whenever I put on lipstick now, I just, want to wipe it off because I don't like the way it feels but I just think this I think these are so cute these you know would be clutch size because you want if you're a clutch is really extremely small so you'd want something really small if you were gonna put it in your clutch and I think that's really cute and then also this this is bare minerals honesty let's see this is a nice color too. So I think I tried that one. Where's the cap? So put that back. So basically that's that's it. I maybe took a long time on this. Anyway. So here this was the setup. I initially I had one and I had all these brushes in one, but I felt like it was too too um packed. And I like having a lot of space in between, I know. So I can just grab, see the brush and grab it. And this was a really economical way. So the tray, um, again, a dollar. And each of these were a dollar. And I just filled it with some rice. And you could use whatever you want. Beads, plastic beads, rice, beans. I, You know, you could even use lentils. And then you would have rice or you would have, you could have, you could make that later if you were hungry, I guess. I don't know. 
So we have the Sonia G brushes in the red. The white ones are Chikahoto. I just ordered another Chikahoto a foundation brush and some, I got some new Wayne Goss ones. So this one was the first one I got. I think that was number five. Here's a lip. So I got these two. I want to show you these two. So his brushes are really dainty. Um, this is number 20. What is that one? 19. So these are, you know, different size crease brushes. But if you compared it to, where's the Sonia G one? So though, like say those two, see it's a lot um, thinner. And I believe this works a little bit better. I ordered one other one that was a little bit bigger. And all three of the ones that I'm gonna have are in this kit, but I'm ordering them separately. So, and these are undyed goat hair. And so I like these, Wayne Goss. Okay. And then there's the Bobby Brown ones. They're synthetic. Um, they're okay. Um, this one's nice, this sweep brush, because you can just do the base and get it all over your eyelid. This is a, like a touch-up concealing, and that's like a pencil brush. And this is just a, a cheap synthetic brush. This is a BK brush. It's more firm. I thought I would like this more than I do. This is, what is this one? 205. I thought I was going to like it more than I do it. I'll, I still work with it and see what happens, but I don't really like, this was with the face set and Sonia G. I don't like the fan brushes at all. I don't like this shape at all for me. I don't like it. This, this angled uh, brush powder brush, I like this one. This BK foundation brush is See how it's chiseled, angled? This is good. I like that one. And there's, this is like a contour. Could be um, blush contour. This, I used this the other day to put on that uh, Chantecaille Future Skin. And this is a Dior foundation brush. And it actually worked good, but I'm going to try the Chikahoto brush when I get it and see how that goes. And what is this one? This is the blush brush. And for me, I feel like this Sonia G blush brush is a little bit too small for blush, but uh, nevertheless, I'm using that. The end of the line. This was a perfume that I just got uh, not too long ago. Rose, I call it Rose de Grasse, but is it Rose de Grasse? Maybe you know. Um, I'm going to go with Rose de Grasse. Erin. So I like the box, so I'm keeping it. And then it has a card behind here. And this is a rose scent, and I had a sample, and I liked it so much that I got that. And I guess I have a perfume collection now, but I didn't, I just have been unconsciously buying rose scent, scented perfumes. Anyway, so oh, let me show you the picture behind her. So, so this, these are my kids a number of years ago. There's the Bethany, Seth, and Dana, and I was dressing them up for, I don't know, it was this contest with Johnny Depp and the Pirates of the Caribbean. And that was my old belly dance outfit. That was fun. And there's Seth, this is his, um, his, what he, he took his own senior picture. This is the picture he took for his senior picture, very creative. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you next time.